In a move that has ignited widespread public outrage across Britain, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has reportedly managed to circumvent millions in tax obligations on an $8.5 million inheritance, prompting Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs HMRC, to demand explanations for this controversial financial maneuver. The revelation comes at a particularly sensitive time when ordinary British citizens are grappling with a cost-of-living crisis and increased tax burdens. Sources close to HMRC reveal that the tax authority is scrutinizing the complex financial arrangements that allowed the California-based royal to potentially save millions in inheritance tax through what critics are calling a privileged loophole. The inheritance in question, reportedly from a private family trust, has raised eyebrows not only due to its substantial value but also because of the sophisticated tax avoidance strategies employed. Tax experts estimate that under normal circumstances, such an inheritance would have generated approximately £2.8 million, $3.4 million, in tax revenue for the British Treasury. It's one rule for them and another for us, says Sarah Thompson, a London-based tax accountant. While ordinary citizens are meticulously audited for the smallest discrepancies, it appears that those with the right connections can navigate around these obligations with remarkable ease. The controversy has been further fueled by Harry's previous public statements about financial independence since stepping back from royal duties. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made headlines with their declaration of seeking financial independence from the royal family, yet critics now point to this tax avoidance as evidence of continued privileged treatment. Members of Parliament have begun voicing their concerns, with several calling for an immediate investigation into what they describe as an abusive position. Labour MP Margaret Harrison stated, at a time when nurses, teachers and public service workers are struggling to make ends meet, this kind of tax avoidance by someone who has chosen to leave their royal duties behind is simply unacceptable. The timing couldn't be worse for Prince Harry, who has recently been promoting various charitable initiatives. Social media has erupted with criticism, with the hashtag hashtag royal tax dodger trending across multiple platforms. British citizens, particularly those facing increased national insurance contributions and higher energy bills, have expressed their dismay at what many view as a betrayal of public trust. We're all in this together, except we're not, are we? says James Miller, a NHS nurse from Manchester. I pay every penny I owe in taxes, working overtime to support my family, while Harry, living in his California mansion, gets to keep millions that should have gone to public services. The technical details of the tax avoidance scheme remain complex, but financial experts suggest it likely involves offshore trusts and sophisticated legal structures typically available only to the ultra-wealthy. This has led to renewed calls for closing such loopholes in the UK tax system. Former HMRC inspector Richard Davies explains, these arrangements often exploit international tax treaties and complex trust structures that, while technically legal, certainly violate the spirit of tax law. The average British citizen simply doesn't have access to these mechanisms. The palace has maintained an official silence on the matter, but sources close to the royal family suggest there is considerable disappointment with Harry's handling of his financial affairs. This latest controversy adds to the growing list of tensions between the Duke of Sussex and his former royal life. Legal experts point out that while Harry's tax arrangements may be technically within the law, they raise serious ethical questions about tax justice and equality. The law may permit such arrangements but that doesn't make them right, says Dr Elizabeth Warren, a tax law professor at Cambridge University. This case highlights the growing divide between ordinary taxpayers and those with access to sophisticated tax avoidance strategies. The revelation has also sparked debate about the broader issue of tax reform in the UK. Tax justice campaigners are using this case to advocate for closing loopholes that allow the wealthy to avoid their fair share of taxes. This isn't just about Prince Harry, says Tax Justice UK spokesperson Michael Brooks. It's about a system that's rigged in favour of the wealthy and well-connected. Meanwhile, HMRC has issued a statement confirming that they are reviewing certain high-value inheritance arrangements but refuse to comment on specific cases. The tax authority faces mounting pressure to demonstrate that it applies the same scrutiny to high-profile individuals as it does to ordinary citizens. The controversy has also reached across the Atlantic, where Harry and Meghan have built their new life. American tax experts note that US tax authorities might take an interest in the arrangement, given Harry's resident status in California. This could potentially lead to a complex international tax investigation. Local councils across Britain have been quick to point out how the avoided tax money could have been used, 
That £2.8 million could have funded vital social services, repaired schools, or supported local communities struggling with budget cuts, says Manchester City Council member Patricia Hughes. As HMRC continues its investigation, the incident has become a lightning rod for broader discussions about tax fairness and privilege in modern Britain. With the cost of living crisis showing no signs of abating, the timing of this revelation has struck a particularly raw nerve with the British public. The story began with the tragic death of Princess Diana, a figure beloved by the British public. Her untimely passing left a void that could never be filled, but it also left a substantial inheritance for her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. The inheritance, which included a significant sum of money and various assets, was meant to secure their financial future. However, it was the handling of this inheritance that had now become a point of contention. Prince Harry, known for his rebellious streak and his decision to step back from royal duties, had reportedly used a legal loophole to avoid paying taxes on his share of the inheritance. The news broke like a thunderclap, with tabloids and broadsheets alike splashing the story across their front pages. The public, already divided over Harry's decision to leave the royal fold, was now even more polarized. The inheritance in question was a substantial $8.5 million, a sum that would have ordinarily been subject to inheritance tax. However, through a series of complex financial maneuvers and the use of offshore accounts, Prince Harry had managed to avoid paying the hefty tax bill. The revelation had the British public seeing red, with many questioning the fairness of a system that allowed the wealthy and privileged to escape their tax obligations. HMRC, the government body responsible for collecting taxes, was quick to respond. They issued a statement demanding an explanation from Prince Harry and his financial advisers. The statement read, HMRC takes the issue of tax avoidance very seriously. We are committed to ensuring that everyone pays their fair share of taxes, regardless of their status or background. We are currently investigating the matter and will take appropriate action if any wrongdoing is found. The public outcry was immediate and intense. Social media was flooded with comments from outraged citizens, many of whom felt betrayed by Prince Harry's actions. How can he preach about equality and fairness when he's avoiding taxes like this? one Twitter user wrote. It's hypocritical and downright wrong, another chimed in. The controversy also sparked a broader debate about the fairness of the British tax system. Many argued that the loopholes used by Prince Harry were available to anyone with the means to exploit them, highlighting the inherent inequities in the system. This is just another example of how the rich get richer while the rest of us struggle, one commentator wrote. It's time for a change. As the days turned into weeks, the scandal showed no signs of abating. Prince Harry, who had always been a polarizing figure, found himself at the center of a media storm. His decision to step back from royal duties had already divided public opinion, and this latest controversy only served to deepen the rift. In the midst of the turmoil, Prince Harry remained largely silent, choosing not to engage with the media or the public. His silence was interpreted by many as an admission of guilt further fueling the outrage. However, his supporters argued that he was being unfairly targeted and that the media was blowing the issue out of proportion. Behind the scenes, the royal family was reportedly in damage control mode. Sources close to the palace revealed that there were heated discussions about how to handle the situation. Some argued that Prince Harry should be held accountable for his actions, while others believed that the matter should be handled discreetly to avoid further embarrassment for the royal family. As the investigation by HMRC continued, more details began to emerge about the financial maneuvers used by Prince Harry. It was revealed that he had set up a series of trusts and offshore accounts to shield his inheritance from taxation. The complexity of the arrangement suggested that he had received expert financial advice, raising questions about who was pulling the strings behind the scenes.